My name is Jason Silverman, and this is year 13 of me covering the Sundance Film Festival for Wired Magazine and Wired.com. Hi, my name is Tiffany Schlein. Um, I'm founder of the Webby Awards. I'm also an independent filmmaker, but I think I'm going to say I'm an interdependent filmmaker. My name is David Strauss. I'm co-founder and CEO of Without a Box, and uh, we work with filmmakers around the world and help connect them to audiences around the world. I think people need to recalibrate their energy. It used to be... I'm going to put all my money and all my energy just to hopefully get into Sundance. And if I get into Sundance, hopefully I'll get a distributor. And I think people need to recalibrate it to, okay, making the film is step one. And I need to put just as much creativity and energy and resources into getting the film out creatively into the world. And I think that's a really big change for people. And I also feel like this is the year that, I mean, I've gone to all the panels before on new forms of distribution with technology. But this is the first year where... People have real case studies and there's real examples. What we talk about is turning filmmakers into entrepreneurs and giving them the tools to be able to do that. And once they get that, they're empowered to be able to take the same energy that they had and the same passion that they had in making the film in terms of distributing it. So we're trying to get an online video conversation going in Facebook that'll take the, the whole conversation. And so the audience is just going to grow and grow and grow. Well, what I want to ask, though, is, is the question that we always come down to, and, and I hate using this word, but how do we monetize it? I mean, because uh, you need to be getting paid for your work as an artist. It's going to be a whole... We don't, there's opportunities we don't even know that are going to be there. So what's the biggest challenge as a filmmaker? I think the biggest challenge is to understand how much is already there for you. I mean, like, I'm really into technology, so for me this is like... I love getting my hands into this stuff, but I think the biggest challenge when we were in these panels, the filmmakers, you know, they want they want to know how to do all this stuff. So the biggest cha challenge is to make filmmakers think that they're also distributors and to understand that they have the tools. There. What about what about eyeballs? Once there's more tools to let them know about the films that they would be into, that's a huge market. I, I think that this is an interesting distinction between how the web and the people who monetize the web look at consumers and about how filmmakers and artists should look at their their fan base. Well, I, what I like about this is, is, is sending the sending it back to the beginning of the loop is that as you prepare your next feature, as someone's preparing a documentary, you think about uh, audience in a different way. You think about audiences rather than the kind of blockbuster Hollywood audience. So you look, it's, it's very that. possible that your favorite film, you don't know about yet, right? But through collaborative filtering and through the things that we're talking about, you're going to actually find your favorite film. Well, I can go back, we can all go back to 1999, which was the year that Adam Film and, uh, and I Film took over Sundance. And you'll remember they, were, they had you know, a huge presence here and everyone was talking about how all of a sudden there was going to be a short film market. Short filmmakers were being signed to contracts and they were being given money for their short films and this was going to be the new, the new thing. So in a way, this whole movement started there. Right, but it finally is happening now. Nine years later, yeah. Right, right. Uh, a festival like Sundance can take what they're doing with their iTunes relationship and Netflix relationship and even take it to, to the next level. Imagine so many films that are at Sundance don't get distribution, right? right so it, imagine if Sundance became the self-distributor for the Sundance film. Or even just an umbrella. I mean, what we're, what we're talking about with this next step, when I say eyeballs, I'm talking about, uh, you know, the, the billion channel universe where there are there's so much content out there that it's hard, you know, people almost, you know, throw their hands up. In frustration. Everyone uses the, the phrase like a badge of honor that you're an independent filmmaker. But I think people need to start saying that you're an interdependent filmmaker. Absolutely. There's so many support networks and technologies that can support what you're doing and I think that's what's happening right now is everyone's linking up and becoming interdependent and supporting our efforts in each yeah. other's films. So. It, it's not about putting the walls up, it's yeah. about bringing them down and finding ways to work together.